What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are actually before we start the video, make sure we pick up the Fit Lab shirt. Look at that. It's on the website, uh, fitlabs.com. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I will help you in that purchase. Um, okay, so today, what we have here in this box, right here, right here. Hmm. Zoom out. Oh, oh shit. A bug deflector. OEM bug deflector. For this is for the O1 because you can see where the headlight and the grill is. Yep, yep, yep. So my hood is a 98. This is a 98. It's straight, right? People that don't know the 98s are straight, right here. And the 02, 0102 has a little notch right there. So I'm gonna cheat. The hoods are expensive for these cars. And over here in California, we don't have a lot of foresters in good shape. Get my hood. Beat up. So, we're going to put an O1 plate reflector. And see how it sticks down, sticks down right here? It's going to cover that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this for you real quick. I think it'll be easier if I put a headlight. You got my headlight here. O one O two headlight. We'll be retrofitting that too. Let's see if I can do everything with one hand. Headlight. So you can see there's a curve here and this head goes straight. It's gonna cover that. The hood's not all the way down, of course, but let's see if it goes straight. There's a hood right there. Boom. It covers that little hole right there. So I'm gonna do that until I get an O1 hood. So let's get with the install. Let's see what we got in this box. Alright guys, this is what we got comes with the package. We got the instructions printed from Subaru and then uh, we got just alcohol pads to clean it up. Um, what do you call anti-abrasion tape pads so it prevents from scratching and then you just got your screws and stuff all right let's see if we can put this together real quick okay number one read it number one and number two Okay, number one and number two. Number one and number two. Like, these are awesome instructions. Like, I kind of understand it already, but it's like, if someone didn't really understand what's going on, um, I don't know if uh, they can complete it. <laughs> okay, number one. It looks like you read a comic book, and then you page one, and then page two. I cleaned the car. My car, I washed it yesterday. Okay. 
so you wash okay if you were installing this you would wash your front of your hood so basically you just wash your car and you'll be cool okay number three um here we get this oh look this one's already done okay you get this um you screw in your little screws here with this little thing with two holes all right very very detailed instructions okay uh you put one and maybe two i i don't know i don't know i don't know number f okay so if you put a screw here on number three, number four, where does the screw go? Like, I don't understand. There's a screw here. Okay, number four. And this is not like 90 degrees. And then it's like this. But it doesn't show the screw on. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's super glued on there? Or what, why, what, what's, I don't understand. Okay. Okay, we're gonna um, get another screw and then the washer. So we're gonna screw in um, this part with the visor so I get two washers in between okay that makes sense and then they want you to torque it five inch pounds and no um, third lock so I'm gonna do that right now and then uh, oh actually let's do the other side okay we got that part we got that part um, not this. Oh wait, that's the wrong screw. Make sure you get the long screw in there. Oh. It's upside down. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got two of them. So let's get our visor. Screw these on. <sighs> Why in the shot? All right. My desk. Make sure your desk, your work area is clean beforehand and not have pliers and stuff everywhere and tape that you have done and left from the previous job. Okay, so you get the big that quality, that pink quality, let's see. How does these male people do it? Focus, no? Anyway, you can see the the awesome paint quality that's not great at all but I'll probably repaint that or something I don't know all right so fiber washer and then um,
fiber washer and the fat washer, it says. So this fat washer right here. This thickums goes in there. That should hold on all the sides. And then we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna do fiber washer. Scratch it and then thick thickums and then uh, screw this part on. Not the right screwdriver. Oh my god, there's too much paint inside the little area, so I can't screw it down. Seems like 11 pounds to me. Make a little bit of snug, not too tight, but snug. All right, all right, we're on number six. All right, we're gonna do number seven. So, number seven. We're gonna open the hood. Um, we're gonna put lines through the visor and then we're gonna look at the holes I think that's what this guy is doing this guy is looking at the holes so open your head and look at the holes and then Number eight, you do a pull up on your hood. I can't do that. I can't. I can't do a regular pull up. So um, I think I'm gonna skip number eight. All right. So my hood is up. So it says to look at the holes. Okay. Put my eye right there. Oh, dangerous. Look, I'm looking at the holes, and then what? Oh, pull up. I'm not going to do a pull up, dude. I'm going to bent this thing. Okay, that's number seven. I I opened it. I looked, I looked, I looked at the holes, and um, yeah. All right, but seriously, um, number seven... I really don't know. Um, so, let's check this out. Um, uh, um, okay. Uh, mm, I think we, okay, we put, we also look Oh, no. Anyways, let's finish this. Okay. So we put this on, and I think we, uh... We'll just, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't know. So, we'll put this on.
Okay. I think I got it. Let's out real quick. Turn up the brightness on this. Okay, so it seems like we need to. I still don't know. Okay. Seems like we have to uh, put these locks inside. Put these little squares right here. I mean rectangles inside and then number nine it looks like it says it turns it so we gotta lock it in and then uh, number 10 you have to look at stuff again which is i don't know what the hell is going on but yeah let's do that so i'm gonna put these in here and i'm lock them in hopefully that works i don't know we'll see something like that so I put both of them in there um, I spaced them evenly with my two fingers like this. That's what she said! <laughs> and uh, I just tighten it and it squeezes uh, the metal, squeezes the hood together. And it's actually pretty sturdy. It's not moving sideways or anything. Um, I would think this rubber needs to go out here. So I might need to redo that. But now I know how to do this. I'll redo that and then, uh, well, it protects the paint from the inside because it's not rubbing up here. And I don't care if the bottom part is scratching, so I'll leave it like that. So that is number. We just finished uh, 9 and 10. So it looks like you just look at the stuff and do nothing else. Do not scratch paint. You just stare at it. But, yeah. But, honestly, this is what you do. You just sandwich uh, the hood between those two metals. All right, let's do <clears throat> let's do 11, 11 and 12. What the hell is this shit? Um, Like, shouldn't sh okay, so we have the that friction pad and the alcohol pad. Shouldn't we prep the area first before we even install it? Nothing. Like it looks like it looks like the alcohol pad is here, so it looks like we have to clean the area. Clean what area since we have everything on there. Since my hood is messed up, we're going to skip that. Skip number 12. Skip number 13. Skip number 14. Uh, what? Number 15? Looks... Or is it, or is it... I'm trying to understand. Okay, hold on. Number 8, number 7, number 8. Number seven and number eight. It's the same as fifteen. Okay, we're in, we're in fifteen now. So that isn't that the same sh same shit. Hmm. 
Like I did. Oh, it's under the car. Oh shit. <sighs> Edit that out. Anyway, <sighs> garbage instruction. Okay, prep, prep, prep. Tighten. We're ready to tighten that, and then we're gonna do these little clips on the side. Little clips on the side. So. We're doing number 16. So we got these little clips right here. They're gonna go on this little piece right here. And then it's gonna clip on to the hood. So. So. We're gonna clip this bad boy. a little bit okay I can't do this one hand I'll be right back all right all right we got these little clips right here it will click in once you hit the hear the click it'll lock that means it's locked in and then down here it will hook into the hood itself so it doesn't f all right I got these clips on both sides focus focus there you go so one clipping the top clipping to the visor or deflector whatever you want to call it and one clipping into the hood so sturdy 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 another side and I forgot I I had a couple of washers left over and I found out where they go. They go in so it's bolt, washer, and then thickums and then to the bracket. So now let's carefully Oh, I'm scared. Hopefully this falls. <sighs> now I need my front end. I need my headlights. Still looks like crap. Because I don't have everything else. But to clean it, do not clean with soap and water only. Do not use any chemicals, no sponges or anything. Just wipe it down and hose it off. And try not to scratch it when you're removing this. Hey, it looks like it's scratched already. Yeah, there we go, guys. Now, Next video, we'll be doing um, headlights because my grill will be coming in uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. And then I'm going to put these corner lights on. Yay! So, next video, we're going to get these retrofitted so we can have some lights. Um, I think I'm just going to have one corner light or maybe put some uh, stock ones on for now. Because I'm selling these. And my front end should be done. So, if you guys like that installation and maybe if you're installing a new one yourself. And you're having a, troubles uh, reading the, the eyeball instruction with the big eye like that. So, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section down below. If you guys like the video, hit that like, new to the channel, hit that sub button, and don't forget to buy your Fitted Labs shirts, man. I got some uh, Forrester ones too, so check that out.
All right, see you guys on. Bye, have a great time. Perfect. Perfect.